Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we will be learning about data lake storage Gen 1 specific security concepts. So let's take a look at security for data lake. A uh, pretty straightforward stuff uh, here we use Azure Active Directory security uh, principles to control access to the data lake account. We could do this from the portal using our pack, which is directly from the AM, IAM access control and role assignments. So you can uh, click on add button and then role assignments. Uh, from here you can take one of the built-in rules that are coming up for this. Use log analytic contributor or whatever the owner. All these uh, roles can be used and you can also set your active directory specific roles which can actually pull up and you can grant the access for your active directory users that is either from the azure active directory or from your on-premises if at all you are running on a hi hybrid sync we can also use the built-in uh, roles otherwise we can use the custom roles by creating a custom role and you can grant the access to the Azure resources itself. We can also create access control list within the data leak file system by using the data explorer, which is this here, and then or using various APIs that interfaces with the data lake gen one account. For example, I've got a test folder here uh, in my data lake storage and the gen one specific account here. I can click on access, then provide access to other Azure Active Directory users or groups to be able to access data within this folder permissions like read, write, execute or whatever the other permissions by clicking on add for another specific user also. We also have the ability like we do with many other of our Azure resources to be able to lock down access uh, with the Gen1 account using firewall and virtual networks. From here um, you can select the required networks or from the all networks let's say if i want to just choose a specific network by choosing an existing network i can select my database a uh, sql server specific uh, database server vnet and this uh, rules would be applied by default would be the default subnet so i'm actually running my firewall within the firewall and this data lake storage account will be used within this specific vnet that means we are securing with specific to this address range by taking these checkboxes you can actually allow other azure services for example data factory event hubs or any of the all azure vms all that can be granted access so that um, this would uh, be a more secure way of allowing the azure services to uh, get access allow also azure data lake analytics to access this data lake storage gen, gen 1 account also can be granted as the exception for diagnostic settings, you can enable uh, by configuring diagnostic settings from monitoring section by clicking on adding the diagnostic settings, which is very familiar um, what we have done in the other diagnostic specific lectures. That's really all we have got for the data lake security. Um, I'm sure that um, you might not get much questions or very rare in the AZ exam series as uh, a 300 or 500 series but i just wanted to touch up on uh, these concepts for the security specific at the high level and we'll move to the next lecture thank you for watching this